Hey everybody, this is Pissed Rhino. I'm going to do a short video today on Mia's chassis. And I want to show you about the plate that I made um, for the transmission for the next build. Uh, so let me grab it real quick. So, here we have the transmission plate. And then the transmission. And so I make this piece that goes around the outside. You put your receiver here. You put your ESC here. And then your battery goes here. Uh, this one's made out of 1 8 inch thick material. I, I think the last one I did was 1 16th because this stuff's really thick. Um, but I did you know I've been cutting ABS plastic forever I used to be in car audio real big and uh, so I did tons of installs with ABS sheets but I never heard of one of these and this is a plastic cutter so you take your plastic sheet, lay it down, you need a straight edge, and then you run this down the straight edge, and you keep going and going until you're through the plastic, or at least till you can bend it so it snaps. Um, works amazingly well. I can't believe it's taken me this many years to find it. So if you need to cut ABS, get yourself one of these. NT Cutter, Main Japan, JDM, baby. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to cut plastic, get you one of these. Um, so using one of those, I cut this out. And this will go, you know, right where the transmission plate goes. And you'll have all this space to do whatever you need to do. So like I said... You know, your ESC, your receiver, battery, uh, anything else you might need to store. Um, that's going to be the perfect spot. Alright, so there's that. I just want to go over that real quick because that's something I did yesterday. Um, also yesterday I decided that I'm doing two more builds, not just one more build. So this will be the Mias, Mias Ripper build. And I'm going to do a, hey, I got all these parts laying around. I'm going to do another build. So I haven't decided on the chassis. Uh, I've already got the shocks, um, drive shafts, links. I ordered a transmission yesterday. I got wheels and tires. I got the rear axle, so I'm going to order a front axle. Actually, I already did. Yeah, I forgot. I ordered a front axle off of uh, AliExpress um, just because of the time frame. I'll have it here in two weeks instead of who knows when. So, But I don't know what chassis I'm going to use. So I'm, I'm wanting to make a speed trail buggy. My others have all been crawlers, so I'm going to have three crawlers, um, two rippers, and then my mega build. Um, and so I want a speed buggy. So I ordered speed gearing um, with the transmission, not with it, but separate. I ordered Mias um, speed transmission gears, ordered a Mias transmission. And um, the wheels and tires I'm going to put on it are those comp tires. The wheels are by Maz Designs. Um, so those will go on it. I also have another set of tires coming. So I might change the tires. Not sure. But I know for sure those Maz Design um, wheels are going on it. What else? GPM drive shafts. Endure shocks, 
Oh, servo. I'm not sure on servo. I don't have a servo. Um, we'll see how the Mias does. If I like it, I might get another Mias or I'll just go back to NSDRC because um, I know they're good. They're proven. Uh, I don't have a lay down servo mount. Um, I think that's about it. So it's not going to be a heavy build. I'm not going to put the weights in the tires. This is going to be something I can just drive through the front yard and just rip it up. Um, the axles will be the axles that come in the portals. So it will have portals. So anyway, that's what's going on. Two builds, Mias Ripper and then shit I got laying around. Let's build another one. So one thing I have laying around is this Mias chassis. Now, I wasn't into it much, but I started looking at it. And again, I'm probably not going to use this for my build, but I wanted to show it to you. And I also want to talk about it because I'm probably going to do something with it. I'm definitely going to build the chassis today. Um, so, with that being said, grab my scissors. This is one thing that's hard to do behind the cameras. Open stuff. Uh, you all notice I'm wearing gloves. I'm sure you've seen in previous videos that I'm having some issues with my fingernails. Um, it's something to do with one of the medications I'm on. Um, so I don't want to get too in depth in it because it's pretty gross and stupid. So anyway, I'll be wearing gloves from now on just because I don't like looking at it. Um, so hopefully you get it and it's no big deal because it, to me it's really not, but anyway, if anybody has any gloves they want to send me, send me some gloves, maybe some nice isotoners. Obviously I'm kidding, but I would take some rubber gloves, but all right. So the Mia sticker. We got the Mias instructions, which sometimes aren't the greatest, but this looks pretty in depth. Um, and then you have the other Mia stickers, which are the see through. Um, and so, this is what I'll be doing in the next few hours. I just kind of want to look at the pieces with you guys. And then um, when I make another video, maybe today or tomorrow, I'll show you what, what it looks like in the end. It's got a bunch of pieces to it. Hopefully this don't take me all day. There it is, all laid out. And we got the instructions. So that's what I'll be doing today. And then we got the standoffs. It'd be nice if the standoffs were the same size that I have, but I doubt it. Maybe one of them is. But who knows until I get started. So this would be what I'm doing today. I'm um, still waiting on some parts. Obviously, still waiting on the chassis and axle for Mia's Ripper. And then waiting on all the parts that I've already ordered for the next build. Oh, it's funny. So, I ordered the new motors from. Furitech. Um, so I'll be putting a new motor with the Python Pro ESC 
in the Mias Ripper build. And then I bought a second motor that I'm going to switch out in the other Ripper. And then I'll stick the kimono in my shit I got laying around the shop area build. So I'm going to have brushless in the, in the other one as well. So I'll have... Right now, that'll be four... TRX 4Ms that I'll have. Um, of course, I've built many and sold many. I can't believe Mega is not sold yet. Mega build, I mean, I don't know if it's the chassis they don't like or, or what, but it's got $1,300 just in parts alone. And I'm just trying to sell it for $850. Now, you'll have to provide your own transmitter and ESC, but everything else comes with it batteries and um the full brushless setup so i don't know if anybody you know wants to get into something high end please send them my way and also we're still trying to get to 200 subscribers so that we can um have another giveaway so you know, share this everywhere you can. Tell people to subscribe so that we can give away some more stuff. Um, we have a lot of, I got a lot of stuff laying around. Plus, who knows, I might even put a cash prize out there. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll see. It depends on how fast we get there. If I'm still asking for 200 subscribers by, you know... September, then you know, I'm probably not going to give away a cash prize. But if we end it, you know, middle of July, I might be talked into a cash prize, something little, maybe, maybe some parts, and then like a $25 PayPal transfer or something like that. And again, Nobody's paying me for anything I do. You know, I'm so small it doesn't even register on people's <clears throat> on people's, you know, radar, but um I can, however, give away stuff that I own or money that I have just because I feel like it. So that's what I do. Um so let's get some more subscribers so I can give away stuff. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, it's Thursday, so you only got one more day of work. And you'll be off for the weekend. Hopefully it's a nice weekend. It's supposed to rain here today, but um, still warm out. But anyway, enough chat. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Thank you.